Digo, que hay de algo que hay como que salió.
lleno de maquillaje, la hija, todo la boca. my brother always a pleasure
Good luck. All right, guys, that was Osua. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah, it was just like 6 p.m. All right, guys. So I've just right now met another YouTuber, famous YouTuber here from Sosua. Can we do just a little quick interview? A couple of questions about Sosua. So because she is living here 30, since like 13 years in Sosua. So, so Mr. T, I have one question for you. Um, what's special about Sosua? Well, I think if I just take a step aside and you hold the camera where you are, the beach is definitely special. Um, what I find is extremely special about this beach compared to some of the beaches in Dominican Republic is we have a long strip of trees all the way down. So you can walk on a little walkway and to your left you have cafes, restaurants and shops and bars and you can shoot straight out here and you can enjoy the waves. I'll get a sun chair and an umbrella anytime yeah, that's you true. want. And there's a lot of different water sports that you can do here. So uh, the beach is definitely one of the best. Just around the corner, we have Playa Alicia and we have Playa Chiquita. And on the way to Cabaretta, there's just beach after beach after beach. And Cabaretta Beach is special too. If you just exactly. 10 minutes away, you have one of the best kite surfing meccas in the world out there with different water sports as well from normal windsurfing. Uh, on the way out there, you have the normal uh, board surfing championships at uh, Encuentro. So 
so there's a lot of attractions here. You've got good snorkeling out here. You can have parties on boats or um, just yeah. hover around the reef. Yeah, area. exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's uh, pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, all right, so I have another question. How's the nightlife here in Sosua compared to, let's say, Punta Cana, maybe Santo Domingo? Well, how's, how's, the, how's the nightlife here in Sosua? With all the uh, beer bug BS going on, <laughs> they've literally killed the nightlife from 9 o'clock till 7 in the morning. That used to be the biggest hours, turning over multi-millions of dollars just alone for Sosua. So they've killed that with this whole thing. I don't want to say too many words because uh, then they get harsh on your account. Um, but still, we find ways. There are concerts like you have Cheers Bar. There's live music on a Thursday and a Saturday. Uh, today they've got karaoke. There's a lot of the places that has bands and karaoke's. And um, you go down Petroclee Thunder, which is the main party strip for many, many years. You can find a lot of cool places to hang out, have a drink, or just sit at a cafe and uh, smoke a cigar if that's what you're yeah. into. And uh, it's also actually safe and uh, is it expensive to live here or what you what you recommend? The first question is it safe? If you're in the public eye pretty much anywhere in Dominican Republic then you are like a holy cow in India. You're very safe. If you are in the public eye the people who have been mugged and it's always just money or stuff the scammers they are after are the ones that ventures out to um, you know, places like in any other country or city you shouldn't go to places you are you're not familiar with or if you do so take a tour guide and he or she will know where to go and um, you know if you don't get too far off the beaten path you're safe uh, and the second question was uh, is it expensive to live here in Sosua? it's probably a lot cheaper in terms of eating out than you'd find in many countries uh, but prices are going up still with this beer bug program <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, it's a global thing where prices are going up 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 uh, just in construction here a bag of cement is 400 pesos now a year and a half ago it was 250 pesos so yeah. you, you see the prices and everything going up but food, fruit, you can still get it at very good prices. And uh, how's the weather? Is it like mostly like sun like this every day or how's it's it Mostly work? like this all year round, except we have the rain season from like middle of December to sometime in the end of March. There's uh -huh. uh, a lot of rainfall, but it comes down heavy, stops, it. clears up. So a lot of people actually like that season because it's a little bit cooler. Uh, but on the north coast we're very spoilt in terms of a good climate because we have a strip of mountains and hills yeah. and it's not really uh, a place where you get hurricanes hitting or or too humid heat so it's, it's perfect here. Yeah. It's perfect yeah. Oh. All right then uh, yeah thank you very much Mr. T for your Come time. To Sosua and feel free to check my channel if I'm allowed to give my Yeah of course I was just about to ask you. Educated traveler and that's my handle on Facebook, Instagram. Um, I call them school tube anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish you a wonderful, nice day and thank you very much. You too. Happy travel. Peace.
Boston and London. Oh, this is very beautiful. Oh, there's also a restaurant. Interesting, interesting. So I'm walking right now towards Playa Alicia, so let me see what it is. Oh, this is very nice. Si quiere camarones, yo tengo. Ah, no, gracias. You would never get my money. Oh, yes, so cute. Because uh, I don't want to I like this air and so so uh, much better than Santo Domingo. Oof, bro, Santo Domingo was like sweating hell. Gives uh, a lot of wind. Oh, I like it. Yeah. 